Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Just a quick one to let you know that I have a brand new Patreon page. Come and support this channel and get your hands on dozens of procedural materials. Okay, just a reminder before we get started that I am using Blender version 4. If you need instructions on creating this with Blender version 3, please do check back through the playlist and you will find an older version there. For those that are interested, as ever, this is my standard setup. I've got uh, basically a backdrop formed from a plane. I've got an area light pointing down the back of that, just for a bit of illumination. I've got three point lighting constrained to an empty, which is just at the front of the object that I'm going to be shading, and of course a camera. So let's select the object, switch over to the shading tab, enable viewport shading, and get cracking. So we hit new again for some reason it just keeps shoving it off somewhere else so i select a and then period key to bring everything into focus now with this particular material we're going to be working entirely with the principled bsdf which has changed a bit since version 3 so if this is if this is the first of my tutorial tutorials that you are seeing uh after the transition just keep your eyes peeled Right, for this we don't need any metallic value. For the roughness we're going to put 0 0.05. I wanted just a little bit of roughness because even glazed ceramic is not perfectly smooth. Index of refraction, not going to make a difference really but we're going to put it at 1.47. For the subsurface we are going to go for random walk skin and put the value up to 1. For the radius, we're going to go for 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0 0.1. For the scale, 0 0.1. Index of refraction, 1.47. And 0 0.2 on that one I can never pronounce. For the specular, we're going to choose GGX for the distribution method. It is method is yes and the index for refraction level i'm going to put up to one not going to give it any tint but of course let's take a look and see what that does just a little hint of pink in there when you add some color to it so not a huge difference uh, now with transmission we don't need any because that gives us basically um transparency so we don't need that. We're going to need some coat. And that's going to be 0.25 on the weight. 0 0.05 on the roughness. And we'll leave the index of refraction at 1.5. And for the sheen, although we haven't given it any weight, I'm leaving a roughness of 0.5. And then for the emission, we'll just drag that down to black. Doesn't make a difference. It's just there. Anyway, believe it or not, that's it done. Let me just change the background color a bit and see if that... Oh, let's put it up to metallic. Oh. No. Uh, stop playing around. So you can see there is some glossiness to it. You can actually see the colour uh, reflecting in it. Uh, let's go for a blue. Okay, stop fiddling around. Let's render it. Did I tell you the render settings already? I'll do it again just in case. Uh, I've got a noise threshold of 0 0.02. Maximum samples of 512, or although I could probably go for lower, and I am using denoise and the open image denoiser. Again, these are all based on the cycles render engine and my computer setup. You may have to make some adjustments for your setup. Uh, 
and there you have your glazed ceramic now obviously this is on a perfectly smooth sphere so let's just have a quick play around looking at what it will be like with a little bit of faceting kind of cool you still get the glossiness of it but where there's no light to reflect it kind of goes dark it's kind of cool almost like a golf ball anyway i hope you found that useful and will use it when a future blender project that you're working on in the meantime if it has proved useful please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel and of course if there are any questions please feel free to leave them below the video and i will get back to you as soon as i can thanks for watching Thank you.